Greetings and salutations, loyal viewers of this channel. My name is Sean, and today we got to talk about this law signed in by Gavin Newsom, the governor of California, that is supposedly going to make gas prices go down in the state of California because these evil corporations are just price gouging the citizens of the great state of California. But in reality, in actuality, it doesn't address the problem of why gas prices are higher in California versus any other state. And it's honestly comically stupid that this law has gone into effect and Gavin Newsom is not only celebrating it but he's defiant in that he beat the fossil fuel lobby because he's such a good governor and he cares so hard about the citizens of California or at least cares so hard about not letting the citizens of California understand how badly the Democratic Party has screwed them now we're going to get into this but before we do I want to thank everybody who supports this channel via actualjusticewarrior.com slash join oh, give me the money Give you, give me the money, okay? And I want to remind you that on Wednesday, October 23rd, in the Lower East Side of Manhattan at 7 p.m., I will be debating a person called Joshua Eagle on the idea, and this is his premise that he's going to argue for, that libertarians should vote for Kamala Harris in this upcoming presidential election. It's going to be fun. Registration link at the top of the description. It is free. Come and see me if you're in the area. We'll have a great time. Governor Gavin Newsom has signed a new law that uh, aims to prevent gas prices from spiking here in our state. Proponents say it will save Californians billions of dollars at the pump. Critics call it political theatrics. Yeah, so needless to say, I am 100% with the critics on the fact that this is political theatrics. And the reason why is because it doesn't address the root of why gas is more expensive in California than any other state in the union. It doesn't address this law that specifically was passed in California to raise the price of gasoline in California because it was supposed to be better for the environment. Hi, Frank. Good morning to you. Well, it's no surprise Californians pay more than anywhere else else in the country. The state average right now, right around 460. So we have been spending the morning looking for cheap gas. We're over here in Arcadia, just off of Live Oak Avenue. You can see here, well below the average of the state, 399 for regular gasoline. Now compare that though to what the rest of the country is spending. Tough to hear, but that national average is right around 3 bucks. So look, if you're not from California, if you're not familiar with the prices of gasoline in the state of California, it might be a bit shocking for those of you out there in the audience to realize that people in the state of California are paying nearly a dollar more than you are, depending on where you are in the country, even if you're in a more expensive state for gasoline. And there are a number of reasons why this is the case, that the state of California 100% could have addressed and guess what this bill addresses none of those reasons so let's get into what this bill does and then i'm going to break down what they could have actually fixed in order to help out the taxpayers of california the citizens of california who are struggling to afford fuel now governor gavin newsom yesterday signing that new controversial law meant to prevent prices from spiking this is a big damn deal big oil they continue to lie and they continue to manipulate and they're taking advantage of you and they're screwing you. They've been screwing you for years and years. So let's get into this new law. It requires oil refiners in the state to hold minimum fuel reserves. Doing so, the governor argues, will, will result in more fuel supply, which in turn should lead to lower prices at the pump and prevent price spikes should refineries have to temporarily go down for planned or unplanned maintenance. So right there, Gavin Newsom gives the pitch. And to be clear, even though this is not connected to reality, even though this will completely backfire, the fact of the matter is people love hearing about the evil oil companies extorting them at the pump raising prices far too much and this law specifically targets the 11 or so refineries in the state of california and it requires them to hold certain levels of fuel reserves in order for the residents of california to not be shocked in terms of pricing when those refineries go down due to power outages or due to maintenance or for other reasons now of course if you're a logical rational thinking person out there in the audience you might be wanting to ask yourself wait a minute if the refineries in the state of California have to hold these reserves and them not having these reserves somehow leads to the prices in gas in California spiking, why doesn't the state of California just import gas from other states in order to compensate for it when these refineries are down? And that is a perfectly sound, sane, and reasonable question. But the fact is, that would be illegal under California law because unlike any other state in the union, 
California actually has additional standards on gasoline that is sold in their state, basically making it so that you have to refine the gas in there for their limited market and excluding the gas that could be brought in from any other state in the union from their market. In fact, according to CNBC, this is one of the number one reasons why gas is so expensive in the state of California, because essentially they've created an isolated market and that is due to their special fuel blend. And and on top of that, they've actually seen a two-thirds reduction in refineries that were in operation just 40 years ago in the state of California. So there are fewer refineries in and around 11 or 12 producing a very special blend of gasoline that is only sold in the state of California. So the first thing that they could have done in order to reduce the price of gasoline in the state of California is get rid of this requirement for special blend of gasoline that when gas is incredibly cheap, bare minimum increases the price by 10 cents a gallon. But when the price of gas goes up or when refineries end up closing for maintenance, creates a shock in the market that can't be fulfilled by importing from other states in the union because again there's no reason for these other states to produce this special gas blend but this law does not address that and if you actually pay attention to what they're selling as the solution to price shocks in terms of gasoline it also is not going to have that effect so let's get into this new law it requires oil refiners in the state to hold minimum fuel reserves doing so the governor argues will result in more fuel supply which in turn should lead to lower prices at the pump and prevent price spikes should refineries have to temporarily go down for planned or unplanned maintenance. But the oil industry pushing back, now saying these increased regulations will force refineries to hold on to their supplies instead of releasing it. So I just want you to think about what you're being told the law is and what Gavin Newsom is selling the law as. Because Gavin Newsom says this is going to be great, it's going to be excellent, it is going to increase the supply of gasoline on the California market, thus lowering the prices. But the law actually requires these refineries to hold back more supply in reserves in order to meet these new reserve requirements. So actually, what he's mandating that they do is hold back, thus pull supply off the market, which will, of course, lead to price increases not price decreases. You're going to have perfectly fine oil or perfectly fine gasoline on hand, ready to go into people's cars that is going to be held off the market in order to meet reserve requirements. But for some reason, Gavin Newsom swears that this will increase supply, even though the law specifically obviously is saying, hey, decrease supply to the market because you need to have these reserves in case your refinery gets shut down in some such way. And then in that scenario, the supply shock will, won't be as bad. And therefore, there won't be as much of a shock to the gasoline prices. They will just remain stable at elevated rates due to this law. So essentially, this is like a spread the pain kind of law, best case scenario. But in reality, this is just going to produce more problems in the state of California. Now look, even with the issues in the state of California, the special blend and the 11 refineries, the fact of the matter is prices are high. And when prices are high, that usually drives investment into an area. Again, supply growing to meet demand. So you should be seeing more refineries opening up in the state of California and expansions in the current refineries due to the fact that profits should be so high due to the fact that that gas is so expensive and obviously people need gasoline in their vehicles. But it turns out the state of California is simultaneously, while they're complaining about these refineries extorting people, blocking refineries from expanding in their state and blocking new refineries from opening in their state, both directly and indirectly. And it's for the same reason, because if you'll recall, the state of California has pledged that they're going to move to all electric vehicles by 2035, so they don't want to approve a bunch of different oil refineries for new gasoline-powered cars that they think aren't going to exist in 10 years, so they're essentially making it impossible for these oil companies in their mode of trying to seek profit 
to expand their operations in order to meet the demand in order to cash in on these high prices because that would be capitalism that would be letting a normal market function that would drive down the prices naturally and you can't have that because Gavin Newsom needs to pander to the environmental idiots out there and the only way to do so in his opinion is to continuously regulate these gasoline companies it's to continuously try to restrict them and to pretend that all these different restrictions that he piles on to these companies companies aren't actually the reason why prices are so high in the state of California. But I will ask you out there in the audience to think about this with a little bit of logic and a little bit of common sense. If it's not the special blend, then why is California above and beyond the most expensive place for gasoline of any state in the union? Why are the neighboring states around California able to have gasoline for significantly cheaper while it's over $4 on average within the state of California? Just think about it with your big brain. Realize that when something is different, when something is unusual, you look for a different causal factor, an unusual causal factor. And when you find it, that's going to be what explains this. There's no reason why the neighboring states of California, which by the way, don't have the C access to import oil with the same ease as California should have lower gas prices if it's not something going on exclusively in the state of California. Nothing in this legislation does anything to lower the price of gas. The reality here is that there's been promises made here that are not going to be kept. And mark my word, gas prices are going to be up, not down. Look, I agree with that representative that prices are going to be up due to this law, not down. It just makes all the sense in the world. If you're limiting supply, obviously that is going to increase prices when demand stays the same. But let's say you want to ignore everything that I said about the special blend of gasoline. You want to keep that because you're under the belief that the special blend is too valuable. It not only is better for the environment, but it's better for the breathing and the health of Californians. So you want to keep it understanding that that is one of the key contributing factors in increasing costs let's say you don't want the oil refineries to expand or for there to be new oil refineries because you believe so hard that they're going to pivot really well to electric cars by 2035 even though that is definitely 100 not the case but let's move out of reality to unreality and grant all of those premises to the state of california and to the woke idiots who vote for this nonsense in the state of california you know what else you could do directly to lower the price of gasoline in the state of California lower the gas tax in that state so if you guys are unaware we have a federal gas tax of about 17 cents per gallon and this is meant to pay for the interstate highway system and essentially it's a user fee in that the more you drive the more you consume gasoline the more you pay for the roads that are around you but on top of that in addition to that your state will likely have a gas tax in order to pay for the local roads and these gas taxes vary between about eight cents and nearly 70 cents and gas Guess which state has the highest gas tax in the union? The state of California in and around 68.1 cents per gallon. Now, if you were to cut that in half to 34 cents per gallon, you'd be in and around the state average across this country and actually about 12 cents more than the state of New York's gas tax, which to me is absolutely crazy because normally when you see something horrible that the state of California is ranked very high in, New York is either right ahead of it or right behind it. And this would be able to give relief to people who desperately need to drive their cars to work because obviously California is not a state built around public transportation but this is never even thought of this is never even proposed Gavin Newsom will rant all day every day about how you're getting price gouged by these evil oil companies that are just coming to get you when in reality the people that are price gouging you the people that are tacking on an extra nearly 70 cents per gallon of just profit for something that they provide no role in aiding the production of is the state of California, is people like Gavin Newsom. They're the ones that are extorting you at the pump. And guess what? They're still going to do so while simultaneously adding on other additional regulations that raise the prices in other regards. Again, 70 cents is what you're paying to the state of California to do nothing with this process. And are the roads in California so much better than other states in the union with much more moderate gas taxes? Absolutely not. What do you think about the prices? Uh, it's just ridiculous. Um, the gas is just, I hope they can get control of it pretty soon. And um, 
we can live, you know, live peacefully, you know, live happily, budget our money a little bit better. But this is the problem with left-wing governance. When you believe oil companies are bad, therefore you should tax them. Oil companies are bad, therefore you should regulate them extra hard and shut down their refineries. And that causes a reduction in supply in your state. And those taxes add on top of that to make you the most expensive state for gasoline in the country. You can't just backpedal and say, oh, well, we made horrible mistakes. You have to double down on oil companies being bad. They must be price gouging you. Pay no attention to all the very specific rules and regulations we set up in order to create this problem. So what Gavin Newsom needs to do, rather than look at Chevron or any of these oil companies, is look dead in the mirror and realize that he's the problem. But that's never going to happen, and Californians are going to pay way more in gas due to these regulations. But you know what? Those are just my thoughts. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you like this video, then show them by leaving a like, subscribe for more content, follow me on all my social media, support me via the support links in the description of this video. This has been me talking about Gavin Newsom's crazy scheme. Till next time.